So today I'm going to change my pump, but I'm going to share a few mistakes I wish I knew about and some tips to prevent you from making these same mistakes. So keep watching. First thing I need when I change my pump is my little pump changing kit here. You can see that there. Simply because one thing I wish I knew about when I first started using the pump was the kinked cannulas that I used to get numerous times. One out of every, I don't know, two insertions. And therefore the plastic doesn't work for my skin. I got thick skin. So I use the true steel. Pull out my little syringe here in order to fill it up. I usually use this little tray. That I always have a vial of rapid insulin, whatever your choice is. I use Novelin. And the reason I have it at room temperature is it prevents bubbles when you're filling your bladder, which I will get to in a minute. Because I got another trick with the bladder filling thing. So this is the bladder that comes with the T-Slim. That's the pump I use. So I'm just going to pull that off here in the background. You probably can't see what I'm doing. And I'm going to go like that. So the first thing you do is you turn it on. And I'm sitting at not a, not a bad number, but just go like that. The one, two, three, which I will admit is a pain in the butt. But anyway, so you hit options, you hit load, change cartridge, continue. There's all delivery stop. Make sure the infusion set is disconnected from your body. And it is right here. And then I hit go like that. Preparing for a cartridge. So remove cartridge and install a new one. So they do give you a little plastic wedge thing to change the cartridge, but I just sort of pull it out like that and I'll toss that aside. I'm going to sit this down and then get to the first thing I do. But before I do that, I want to share jump ahead here. And I still had quite a bit of insulin. Now don't do this all the time, but if you're in a pinch and you're at work or you're on the road and you don't have enough insulin in your vial, then you can literally hack number one, pull out any remaining insulin that you have in your pump. And if you live in an area of the world where you don't have good coverage, you know, every unit of insulin you can save, kind of handy. So that's the old one. And as you can see here, I have a fair bit left. So that's, you know, crucial, right? Especially if you're trying to save money. And then take this one, room temperature, that's key. If you try to fill up your syringe or your bladder with cold insulin, it's just really hard to get the fine micro bubbles out. And if you're using a big vial, you have to, of course, probably can't do this technique, but I find I do this. Another little trick too is to take the top of the syringe and push it down. Now I'm going to be eating a lot of carb today. I usually eat relatively lower carb. And another thing I did wrong there is I pulled the syringe down too quickly and I pushed it down too quickly. So I end up with a little bit, I don't know. I don't like the, the bubble things. I try to go a little bit slower and it prevents that. Anyways, so you pull that out, set that aside, give it a little click. And you know, sometimes if it's really bad like that, I, I typically, I'll let it sit. I don't know if you can see that there. I have two cameras set up, trying something new here. Put that on just for a minute to go. So there's still, you know, some micro bubbles in there, but I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna set that down like so, open up the, little bladder thing. So open that up and take this here. And what I actually did wrong, I can't believe that because I'm shooting a video. I think I, I might have did this wrong. But anyways, thank goodness for editing. So I'm going to insert this and you're not going to get it in right away. You, you might sometimes, I think one in every hundred times I do this, I actually get it right into the, the bladder. But usually it feels like you're hitting something and that's okay. You push it and I don't probably can't hear that because of the way the sound system is here but you can hear the bladder literally opening up and then this is key too you got to make sure you pull all the insulin back into the syringe because it sucks any air and it makes it easier that makes it easier actually it's the manufacturer's way of design to make sure you you only put the insulin in there and not any air so you pull that out i put that down and i just sort of give it a second to settle and keep watching because i, I get to the point where there is a trick to the next step. In, my, in a previous video here, I did that the insulin pump mistake video that I never learned about. Actually, I don't like that. I'm gonna take it back up. Whoa, there, get rid of some of that air. So there, there are some micro bubbles, but I'll show you the next trick in a second. Put that in, and then you fill up that bladder like so. There we go. And that's it. And then I'm just gonna, you know, put this needle aside here because it's my own. I can recap it. I wouldn't do that if I was in the hospital working for somebody else. Okay, so. I've got this here. I'm going to slide this in. There's, you can't really do this wrong. Slide it in the pump. It smells like insulin. Everybody knows what that smells like. Turn it on. And then one, two, three. Okay. Remove cartridge, install filled cartridge, and then tap the little lock. Is the cartridge installed? Yes, it is. 
And as you can see here, it's detecting. So while it's detecting, I'm going to open up this here, which is the True Steel Infusion Set. Now, True Steel basically is literally what it sounds like. Instead of a plastic cannula, which I mentioned earlier, tends to paint too frequently for me. I switched to a metal cannula, which you can sort of see here. Well, you can't, but I will show you in a second. You take all the little pieces. You can save this little section here and cap your sight in your skin where you're attached to sort of plug it. It's good for hot tubbing and swimming or baths or whatever. It also, in, in the bedroom, it kind of catches, so it's nice to give us. Anyways, I won't get into that. I'm going to throw that aside. That's garbage. I'll open up this here and then like that. And then you connect these two here like so I'm going to say make sure you set make sure the set is disconnected from your body and securely connect the tubing so I'm going to go like this it's not connected to me at all screw that on like that and then it says fill tubing so I typically take about 15 to 18 units to fill and the key is here and this doesn't they don't really say this but I always click it here that's my little secret number one secret Number two secret was saving your insulin from the bladder. And I'm going to show you a setting I changed on the pump that really has tightened up my control a lot. But stay tuned for that. I'll tell you that in a minute. So I don't know if you can see, but here is the trick. This little area here where, make sure it's tight. Number two, you got to click it quite a bit. I'm not sure. Hopefully you can see some of those bubbles. The lighting's not the greatest. I need to, of course, remove my glasses here for this one. Oh. Another important thing too, this isn't the greatest lighting to change a pump setting. Outside is great. <laughs> it's a funny story. I was visiting a relative, my mom actually, and we were sitting out on her porch. She's an elderly lady and this woman drove by in her car. And this is funny because somebody was talking about this on the online F Diabetes Facebook community and how have you ever been asked to take your injection somewhere else other than like a table in public or whatever and i was actually this woman slowed down in her car rolled down the window basically accused me of doing drugs until i held up my insulin pump and said actually i'm doing this i'm changing my insulin pump site and please just mind your own business but unbelievable i'm eh? ignorant so i sort of overdid it there but you hit stop i went 20 units which is, is probably a little bit overkill now it says basically on the screen if you see drops at the end of the tubing which it's dripping all over the place you're basically done so i'm done then the next thing is fill cannula so what i'm going to do is just put an infusion set in and i try to use if unless i great get right out of the bath i typically use an alcohol swab here that's what i just opened up right it's not necessary but i do i'm going to try to angle the camera down probably not a great view but what i will do is show you the actual needle so you can see it how tiny it is it's quite small so you can sort of see it now there's little pinchy things here you can use to hold it i don't like them it's just me so what i usually do is take off that and you can see the tiny little needle there right super small and then i take these off because i find it's just easier to just tap it in really quick so like you can't really see what i'm doing but i'm basically just sticking it in my abdomen real easy here so it's in and then i secure it and i'll show you a clip of that after but for now i just want to get this in here so i take this and hook it up where it was hooked up to earlier there we go and uh, hang on there i, I just want to show you one more thing so make sure you actually set it to a time of day that you want to be reminded i had mine I wish I had known this before I started pump therapy. I had mindset for 7 a.m. I, I great for weekdays, <laughs> annoying when it's a Saturday, three days after you, your last set, and it, and it rings and buzzes and, and it wakes me up. It's kind of annoying. So my site reminder is on, and I actually let me see if oh geez, I think I might have messed that up. Anyways, it's on and it's set for 7 p.m. And then I'm gonna hit resume insulin. So you can't really mess that up. It'll walk you through the steps. And uh, you can see now my sugar is 7.7. .7. Not that that's relevant for this video, but there you go. There's a few tips. So num tip number one, I use True Steel because I find if you have any issues with vent cannulas, request a metal cannula. I think most pumps offer that. And number two, bubbles, 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 bubbles. Use room temperature insulin. Also, I don't rush the filling of the tube, filling of the syringe process like you notice me do. That's a bit, a bit of, a, of an issue. Number three, reuse that insulin. If you haven't used the entire reservoir of insulin or bladder in this case, then pull it out like I showed you and you can use that and save money. Number three, make sure you tap that, where's the old one? This piece here, that's super important. Tap it because I've been caught with tubing full of, full of air, not good causes high blood sugar. And number three, this is the last thing I'm gonna get to. Thanks for hanging on. You'll notice here it says sleep mode. And you're probably wondering why at 11.30 a.m. it's still on sleep mode. 
I don't work nights, I work days. But what I did a couple of weeks ago, I did some research and basically the tandem algorithm or the, what's it called? I'm drawing a complete blank. You know, the, the, the QI thing, not QI, the, the thing that keeps you steady, the program in the background that corrects, autocorrects. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. Anyway, you know what I mean? This, this pump is basically a semi-closed loop. So if your sugar is going up a certain level, it'll kick in and give you a bolus every hour. Micro bolus, I think 60% of your correction factor in the pump. It'll also increase your basal rate. That's the background insulin if you're above a certain level. I did some research and basically I want my control 24 seven not to go above 6.1. And the sleep mode on the Tandem T Slim is set to keep you with that tight range and not go over 6.1. I had to adjust it a little bit, but I found over the past few days, as you can see by my my average of the last seven days, it's improved in terms of average blood sugar. So that's another tip that I didn't know about. You literally can program this to be on sleep mode, which is a tighter range of control 24 seven, keeping in mind that it won't give you those micro boluses every hour. So, which is fine for me. I am so anal about my diabetes. I pay attention anyways, and I often correct before the pump even goes. So there you go. All right. Thanks for watching. And if you want to check out the old video here, check that one out too. Take care.